All right, let's see. New banner and another new mythical. Okay, let's do it. Cool. Okay, let's, let's summon for it. Hopefully, we don't hit pity this time. Work with me here, man. I'm in a private server this time, too. You gotta give me some luck. Hey! Oh, I'm so glad I said that. We got it. How many opens was that? Only 50 opens. That is incredibly good. Okay, let's look at it. Let's see. So this is a ground unit. And look at him. I can get it to level. Do we want to level this one up? Can we... Actually, before I level it up, can we evolve it? That's the real question. 170 damage, 8 cooldown, 16.4 range. Not too bad. Okay, so we need two of those mask things. Okay. So we need two of these wolf shadow things. So there we go. One and two... And we'll go ahead and let's level them up with what I have. Level 93. All right, I finally maxed it out. Here is the level 100 unit. 1,565 damage. That's a lot of damage. 7.7 .7 cooldown and 16.4 range. That is a pretty good unit. But it is max level and I have collected quite a bit of food as you can see. So let's go ahead and let's evolve the character. And when, and when we evolve it, he gains 20% more attack, curse technique, and shadow garden. And it takes two of those wolf masks I made and 40 of the food. So there we go. Very cool. I like that. That's awesome. Let's take a look at that. Oh, look at that unit. Okay, that's a really cool unit. I like that a lot. So let me go ahead. I'm going to grab all the boost units and let's go see what the damage is on this unit. Hopefully it's pretty good. I'm also going to do it in the Infinity Castle because the Infinity Castle actually has a lot of money when you do the round. But let's see. So pretty good range on it. A nice little AoE circle. And look at that attack on it. That is really cool. It spawns in his wolf. That is really awesome. Very nice attack. Let's see, it first upgrade doubles the damage up to 4,000, 6.6 .6 cooldown and 17.4 range. So there we go. Second upgrade is 6,000 damage, 6.5,000. That's quite a bit. Same cooldown and 0.5 more range. So there we go. Then for the next upgrade, 8.9 thousand damage, 6.2 cooldown and 18.4 range. That is pretty good. This, this unit has pretty low cooldown and very high damage. Look at that. Owl summon 11.9 thousand damage, 5.8 cooldown, 19.5 range. So there we go. We can go ahead and also look at the new attack, which you'll never be able to guess what the owl summon ability does. That's right. It summons an owl. That is so cool. That is a very nice attack. I like that one a lot. But let's see. Next upgrade, 14,000 damage. This is really cheap so far for quite a bit of damage. 5.8 cooldown and 20 range. So there we go. Then 20,000 damage, 5.3 cooldown, 0.5 less. And 0.5 more range, 23,000 damage, 5.3 and 21 range. We are getting up there real high. Then here we go, our next ability, Shadow Garden. We got this one for evolving him. His damage goes up to 35,000 damage. That is a lot of damage. 7.5 cooldown goes up by a little bit and 23.1 range. So his cooldown does start going up by this point. Let's go ahead and buy that and let's see. So it's a slightly bigger AOE circle and let's look at the attack. Oh, that is real cool. Oh my gosh, it has the owl there too. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. So he's using more than one of his attacks. So he's like spawning in a duplicate of himself. Owls and the wolves. That is really unique, actually. So it chooses one of the three attacks. You can either do the owl. I can do a clone of himself with an outline. Or I can spawn on the wolf. That is a really cool attack. I like that one. It makes it seem like a full AoE, though, with all this shadow. That's awesome. I like that. But let's see. Next upgrade, 41,000 damage, 7.1 cooldown, and 24 range. So the cooldown is going back down. But also, it's a very nice multi hit. I like multi hits a lot. That's awesome. And that is max. So this is the maximum stats on the unit. That is really nice. I like that a lot. Now, let's see. With a 10% boost from this unit, the damage goes up to 46,000 damage. And then with the Erwin boost, it goes up to 56,000 damage every 7 seconds. So, let's put the DP about like 8,000 DP. This is a pretty good unit. So, this is a very, very strong. If I look at the DPS without the boosts, 
it'd be like 5.9k. So it's a pretty good damage unit. It's about the same damage as most other units, but I have to say, I like this unit a lot. This is very cool. You can also place down two, three, four of them. So it has a pretty good variety. And you have to admit the evolved version looks really cool too. But yeah, definitely a very reliable mythical, nice range, really good cooldown, and very good damage. So definitely a very good mythical for you to go for. So if you want to go for a new mythical, definitely go for this one, because it is probably the easiest to evolve, because this one doesn't have an evolution. This one just takes forever, because these eyes are so hard to get. And it can will just take a while to evolve because of all the shards. But overall, definitely a very good mythical to get if you want to get one of them evolved really quickly.